Hi, thanks for tuning into this video. Um, I bought some products that were on sale and that I had discounts for. Um, so, um, I bought some NYC products. Um, and um, I showed some NYC products that I got last week. And I wanted to show you the ones that um, I got this week or... Yeah, this week. Um, the first one I got is this NYC New York Color Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder. And the color is called Pink Cheek Glow. And I really liked it. Um, and this is what it looks like. I really like mosaic products. They just remind me of really artful, artsy types of things. So... This is what it looks like, and that's what it looks like from afar. And I wore it yesterday, and I got some pretty good color off of it. And I'll just swatch it for you. And put it on the back of my hand. I guess I went over it with my brush, but, um, I got a lot of product, but it doesn't show too much, so it can be very lightly pigmented, or medium pigmented to medium heavy pigmented, depending on how much you use. Let me see here. So... I'll show you how much product got on like that. I'm just gonna swatch it. You can see. That's what it looks like. And I really like this blush. Um this morning I um was just looking at um makeup videos online, and um, I felt really good this morning um, that, since I used this product yesterday, and it cheers me up, and it makes me feel cheerful, and I really like it, and I'd recommend it if you need a product to um, feel good and just to cheer yourself up and feel good the next day. So this is a really good one, and this is the um, NYC New York Color Mosaic Face um, powder, um, Color Wheel Mosaic Face Powder in 723A Pink Cheek Glow. <laughs> so, I love this one. And I love these two. Okay, so the other day I wore the NYC um, natural, Naturally Beige Press Powder with um, my CoverGirl BB Cream, and I really, really liked this powder. Um, it reminded me of the CoverGirl Oil Control Foundation. It didn't remind me too much of the powder, but more of the liquid foundation. And um, so I got the color 704A Warm Beige, and I noticed that this one is for... Um, it has a yellow undertone, and this is what it looks like. You can see there. That's what that looks like, and um, I'll compare the two for you. So this is naturally beige seven zero two A. And it just looks like this. And this is warm beige. And as you can see, this one has a bit more of a yellowy undertone. And this one is just more of a... fair undertone, I guess. So yeah, this one, um, the 
warm beige. It reminds me of um, the L'Oreal Paris True Match um, warm collection. And so yeah, I really like this product. Um, so let me put this back. <laughs> okay. So this is the warm beige, and I guess I'll just swatch it for you here. Just like that. And we'll just try to get on my hand there and just blend it in. It gives my skin a bit of a sparkly glow with a hue to it. Um, I have some foundation on my hand anyway, but I'll try to swatch it again for you. I'll just swatch it on my arm. see. So yeah. If you have yellow undertones, this might be a good product for you. So let me show you what it would look like. And I like to pair these with um, the NYC Sunny Bronzer or a CoverGirl um, bronzer like Golden Golden Tan, Golden Sunrise, um, whichever one it's called, and Copper Radiance. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> and another product that I got is um, the NYC um, Pink Cheek Glow Powder Blush 650 in Nolita Park. And this is what it looks like inside the packaging. Um, I was in Sephora yesterday, and I noticed there was a NARS color, I think it's called Liber Liberté, and um, I thought, I was interested in the Nolita um, pink color by uh, New York Color, and I noticed that it reminds, it looks like the um, NARS um Liberté color, but this is a bit lighter and it has sparkles. Um, the color is similar, but it's probably it probably doesn't have as much um, color um, pigmentation, and it's maybe a bit lighter. So this is what it looks like inside the packaging, and it comes with this brush. And um, let me swatch it for you. And so yeah, that's what the color will look like. This reminds me of like red chilies, like red spicy chilies. <laughs> So yeah, I noticed yesterday that like right here, um, this is kind of like the natural color of my cheek a bit. Um, it might be a bit deeper than this color, but um, yeah, this is a nice color. I thought it would be a lot darker, but I think if I wore this, I'd wear a little bit just because the color is very it's pretty strong so yeah so yeah this reminds me of a NARS um, Liberty product but um, so yeah this is the Nolita Nolita pink 605 pink cheek glow 
powder blush and um, the last product I got um, is this Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stain Moisturizing Lip Color that in I chose the color Rico Mauve, Rico Mauve um, 126 and it comes in this packaging with a silver bottom and I haven't opened it yet so I'm going to open it and color swatch it for you so you can see. So it comes in a container like this. And It looks like this, and yeah, I'll put a little on over my Milani lipstick. I'm wearing the color Naturally Chic, and I'm just going to swatch it for you so you can see. Oh, the tip came off. And that's what one swatch looks like. And let me try to get all that just stuck to the rest of the crayon. And let me try to blend it in for you. So that's the color you get. And That's the color with the Nolita pink, and the colors are a bit bright, I think, but maybe I could try them paired together one day <laughs> if I wanted a pop of color. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. <laughs> Bye.